Hey, what is up DCS crew? Uh, we're at a different place of the house. This is actually my shave den. Uh, this is the bathroom slash shave den. You can see some of my stuff over here. Um, and the reason why I'm doing this video, it is uh, a different unboxing. Uh, dare I say it's an unboxing like no other. Uh, this is actually an unboxing of a razor. Now, um, this particular razor, and I'm gonna open it up in a bit. I've actually saved it for the video. I haven't opened it up. Uh, this is actually brought to uh, me by uh, the BBS Live crew. So uh, BBS Live is an Instagram uh, uh, live that features uh, a gentleman named Mel and uh, his buddy Nate, and they share uh, tips on you know uh, different types of uh, bourbons and uh, shaving stuff. Now the shaving community isn't a rabbit hole; <laughs> is a rabbit hole like no other. Uh, it's probably as close to the EDC community as far as the things that you can pick and purchase and stuff like that. And you know, there's a little something for everybody. In this particular case, they were doing a uh, a giveaway of this particular razor once they hit a certain number of. Um, uh, viewers for their channel uh, and for their live and I was the one that was picked ironically so this was actually ordered for me and sent uh, by the company now um, we're gonna go ahead and uh, cut to the intro and then we're gonna go into the video where I unbox this and talk about my EDC because of course this is an EDC channel so stay tuned <laughs> EDC channel like Daily Care Solutions would be complete without um, just a pocket check. And now in this case, I am wearing, um, well, you can't really see it, but I'm wearing uh, fleece pants. Uh, it's in the 40s right about now. Uh, so I figured I'd be a little bit of toasty today. Um, that means I don't have pockets and I have to get something that, you know, carries well. So these are the two items I've picked. Uh, for the flashlight, this is the Nightcore Tup. Um, it has different features. It can go into different modes. All right, really, really cool uh, setup and it does have a deep carry clip. So that's something that I've been carrying. And then uh, just a little knife to keep around me. Um, this in particular is one that took a little while to be able to get. Uh, this is the uh, Protec Calmigo. Now, uh, this is a California legal auto. And if you don't know about the, the laws in California, <laughs> Autos have to have very, very small blades. And just to kind of give you a size comparison between this and my flashlight. Uh, <laughs> so you can see how big one is compared to the other. I mean, it is it's pretty small. So um, now the cool thing about this one, it has a titanium nitride or a tiny um, uh, hardware and blade, which is 154 cm, but it is coated in titanium nitride, as is all of the hardware from front to back, with the exception of the deep carry clip, which is powder coated black. Um, nice flat scales, I'm sorry, nice flat screws, and uh, the pocket clip nestles right into the, uh, the scale here, so you can see there's pretty much, you cannot see the screws there. They are also coated in titanium nitride. Now, um, Aside from that, this is considered a Tron scale pattern. And basically what they've done is they've milled the, uh, the aluminum handles with this kind of grippy pattern. And that's something that I recommend for any ProTech Auto that I have. I will not buy it unless there is a variant that has scales that have been textured or has something, you know, on them. Um, this one is one of the few also that has a lock so that it stays and it keeps from deploying. So when you take off that lock and just show with it on and take it off. Boom, it'll go ahead and fire out. And these things fire out like freaking madmen, all right? So that is what I'm carrying as far as my knife and my flashlight. And for those wondering, uh, I am carrying my Glock 43X. Uh, this is a two-way state where I'm from. I'm here in Georgia, so I figured I'd just go ahead and let you guys know that, yeah, I, I do subscribe to that. And that's a freedom that I feel that we really need. So uh, carbon. The Carbon Shaving Company, LLC. This is, uh, you can see more of their stuff at carbonshavingco.com. And uh, they are out of uh, Minneapolis, Minnesota. They started in um, 2018 and they have a few models. Um, they're, they're, they're high end because they're made with high quality stuff here in the US like ProTech, okay? So for the price of a ProTech, you can probably pick up one of these. Actually, yeah, 
you, you probably can. <laughs> um, this is entirely made and assembled in the USA. And like I said, this is sealed. I have not opened it. So this is... Okay, I'm back. And knowing me, I should have, you know, set it up to pre-open. I mean, I have a knife, right? So I went ahead and I opened it all the way around. So you can see from there. All right. And then I am taking it out. And this is what I've got in here. All right. So first things first, this comes out. It has like a, like a burlap sack and it has oh. Sean from Carbon Shaving with a nice little note. It says, congrats, Carlos. Enjoy your CX. Stay well, Sean. And this is a CX 316L. Uh, I might be mistaken, but I'm pretty sure that's what it is. Um, for those that don't know about double-edged razors, this is a double-edged razor. It's a three-piece, so it has a uh, top cap, a base plate, and then the handle that screws onto it um, using the certain screws. Now, these are the instructions for the uninitiated to go ahead and uh, set it up. I actually have quite a few. Um, you can probably see right here. Uh, you can't really see it because my, my stuff is in front of it, but I have... Uh, I have a few razors. Um, it does come with some uh, double-edged razor blades. These are five uh, uh, Astra Superior Platinum double-edged blades. These aren't really the ones that I use, but they are very good. Um, they're good in some razors, and they're and I, you know I prefer uh, some other ones from Gillette. Um, but I'll get into that in another uh, video with a shave. I'm not going to be shaving in this video. So uh, now this is the burlap sack that contains the razor. Here it is. Ooh, that's nice. That is nice. And here it is, folks. This is the carbon razor. Okay. Now, um, if you look underneath, and I'm going to go ahead and try to post uh, some video of this, it is actually going to have the uh, the designation for carbon, like it shows on the periodic periodic table. Uh, it's going to say machined in USA. 2020 this is a 316l stainless steel um and it says cx-5z-104 i don't know what the hell that means but i can tell you uh particularly that with this one uh it has a blade gap which is basically the gap from the top cap right here when the blade is exposed to the, um, the straight bar, which is the, the bottom of the base plate down here. It has a gap of 0 0.68. And um, that's typically their mildest setting. Uh, they have some other ones, but this is actually something that I figured, okay, well, it's it's uh, intermediate. I'll say it like that. It's not really mild, but uh, intermediate. So nice, slim, uh, you know, construction. It's very similar to the, uh, the slim, uh, base plate for the timeless razors that's also another company i believe that's made in usa really awesome knurling on uh, these handles and it's nice and ergonomic it's uh i'm gonna say this is about three and a quarter inches in uh, handle length so you can you know get kind of hold it like this and just kind of go into it you know get a nice clean shape so that's gonna be pretty cool now one thing that i've noticed with a lot of razors and this is something that i do too um, you know those Medford knives that come with like 50 Teflon washers? Well, you can take a couple of them off and you can actually add them to the bottom right here to where the, uh, the handle meets the, the base plate and keep the base plate from having any marred marks from the handle itself once you unscrew it. And as you can see right here, this is uh, one of the, uh, the Teflon washers that you can actually place down here when it's being used and when it's in storage so that when you place the handle back on you screw it on which by the way the knurling on here is awesome again i'm gonna remark about that you can kind of twist it and you'll be good to go you won't have to worry about either you know stripping the uh the um the the the, the threading i'll say it like that because i was i was just having a brain fart there sorry guys the threading on the uh the top um base uh the top the head basically so um yeah this is the CX-316, I'm pretty sure. And yeah, Sean, thank you so much. Mel, Nate, guys from BBS Live, thank you so much for doing this. You guys, <laughs> I can't believe it. So uh, truth be told, when I got this, um, I had actually previously won in a contest of theirs and I picked up a set 
which uh, Nate sent to me, and it was the uh, Razor Ruby Undead. Uh, it's the soap, the shaving soap, and then aftershave that comes with it. I'm actually not gonna be using that. I'm gonna use something different for this, uh, for my first shave with this, but I wanted to go ahead and show the unboxing because this is actually pretty epic. I mean, it comes wrapped, placed in a burlap sack, which is pretty dope, and then comes with a set of five blades so that you can easily get 10, maybe 15 shaves out of this. So, I mean, if you shave, what, two, three times a week? Say three times a week, okay? You have enough here for over a month's worth of shaves, and you can probably get more. I mean, I've seen some crazy videos where they try to, chest, uh, to test the longevity of some blades, and depending on which one it is, I've seen, uh, there's this one guy on YouTube that has Gillette Nasset blades, which are actually the ones that I use, and he's got one that has over 300 shaves going into like the 350s. That's insane. Like even if you shave every day with that razor, that would be an entire year going on one double-edged blade. That's freaking crazy. So yeah, that being said, this is just a quick unboxing from uh, from Carbon. Um, this is badass, man. Guys, if you want to go ahead and check this out, again, you can uh, check it out at Carbon Shaving Co. Um, go ahead and check out the boys from uh, bbs.live. They actually um, do live uh, presentations, you know, giveaways, that sort of thing. And they talk bourbon and, you know, they get plastered on video uh, on Instagram. Uh, I believe it's the first and third uh, third uh, Thursday of every month. Now, um, on times when there's, you know, uh, holidays like, say, Thanksgiving coming, you know, they're not going to be um, uh, hosting there that day. They'll probably just go ahead and, and defer it for another week. But go ahead and check it in. I mean, they're, they're a bunch of really cool cats. You can get, you know, all types of prizes. You can get shaving bowls, you know, scuttles, razors, you know, um, shaving soaps, aftershaves, uh, a little bit of everything. And it's and it's a bunch of really cool people, man. They're getting hammered on, on bourbon and they're talking about different things and stuff. It's, it's a really cool setup. So... Um, huge shout out to them for doing this. Huge shout out to Sean from uh, Carbon uh, Shaving Co. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. This is something a little bit different. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and put this to use. I've got a couple of things that I'm going to be using with it. In fact, I think I'm going to be using this is a brand new shaving brush I picked up from uh, Grizzly Bay. And uh, as you can see, the uh, Grizzly Bear over there. Uh, this is John from Grizzly Bay that actually put... He hand turned this uh, handle, okay? It's called the Knight Brother. And um, that's his uh, his maker's coin right there um, with the grizzly bear. And this is a uh, badger um, knot that's on it. Um, it's badger hair that is, uh, I believe this particular one is from his buddy uh, Rob, who used to have a company named That Darn Rob and is now Chisel and Hound. This is uh, version seven of a Manchurian Badger knot that is uh, actually the fan version. So the, the standard one is more like a bulb. It's kind of bulbous on the top. This one is uh, more of a fan. So as you can see, once it's washed, it takes a nice, you know, wide appearance. And this thing is just a fucking lather monster, guys. You, pff, uh, <clears throat> This is gonna be bad. This is gonna be bad. That's all I gotta say, guys. And yeah, I don't know if you've noticed, man. I uh, I shaved uh, pretty much everything off except for you know the goatee. I got basically what they call the mag lock back in high school, and um, I did that because the truth is, I don't think I've been without my beard. Let's see. I, I uh, my girlfriend and I started dating in 2011, and I had this. I grew up my beard. 2013. And it's been like that ever since. So for the past seven years, I've been with just, a, you know, just a beard. This is the first time I've been without it. And so I figured I'd take advantage and uh, start shaving and stuff, you know, get used to it. This is about two days worth of hair. And unlike a lot of people that are like blonde, that they have a day or two and you can't see it. At least with this, I'm brunette and I do not lack hair pretty much anywhere. Anywhere. And yeah, you can see my hair. So... Hopefully, I'll be doing some uh, shave videos along with EDC videos, and you know, um, you can tell me what you think. So, are any of you in the double-edged shave community? I mean, you know, their, their blades are just as sharp as uh, as you know as knives. So, um, if you do and you are into wet shaving, so if you use a straight razor like the ones that they use from you know barber shops, if you use a single edge, you use a double edge. Uh, let me know what you use. Uh, go ahead and comment below with your. Um, uh, razor of choice. Uh, before this, actually, the razor that I was using, I'll show you this one right here. 
This one right here was my uh, razor of choice. This was the Rex Envoy. Another USA made razor, but guys, this is great. But this is on like another freaking, this is like another freaking level of awesome, man. This is really, this is badass. Uh, I can't wait to go ahead and use this, guys. All right, so that's basically it, guys. And just remember, guys, uh, whatever you shave with, if you use a Rex, if you use a, a carbon, um, you know, if you use your standard Gillette razor, just remember. If you EDC, even if it's nice like this guy, think of DCS. Thank you so much for watching. This is the first razor unboxing on this uh, on this channel. I think I'm gonna do some shave videos with this and uh, see what you guys think of that. But um, yeah, thanks so much for watching. I'll see you guys later because I'm gonna get shaving. Peace.